Drink me and me cap more. <laughs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Eve's Eye Show. And yes, if you're on the Eve's Eye YouTube channel, what's popping? And um, Aquaba to everybody who is in Ghana as we speak. Shout out to yourself from coming out of that cold. And if you're in a hot country, you're still in a hot country again. So <laughs> what's the benefit? Too too trouble, no God. Is all you're trying to tell me? No. Two trouble, one God. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Evelyn Coopson, and today I am doing a review on my Afrochella experience. Shout out to everybody that came to Afrochella. Everybody was looking gorgeous. I did not get to the park on time. I got to the park a little bit towards the evening part. Um, honestly, even the beautiful people on display did an amazing job. And shout out to the organizers of Afrochella, Abdul, Kenny, and Danny. Y'all doing a great job. Shout out for the culture. Do it for the culture. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, I would like to give a big, big shout out to my people, my people, my people who've been with me in this journey for this Ghana like lifestyle I've been doing and y'all supporting me, I appreciate it. And a huge shout out to my production team who have been holding me down from day one. And today I have on videography, we have Father Video, check him out. He does amazing on all your videos. And yes, he's a part of the Ezai production. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. This year at Forchella 2021, it was a vibe, a vibe. Literally, like, the atmosphere was different. The people that came were all in tune with the culture and it made it so beautiful. Now, I'm gonna start with the performances. The performances that I saw, that I personally enjoyed, I'm gonna start from top five. Number five. Ara Star, honestly, I hope I said her name right, because if I didn't say her name right, sorry. Her performance was one to remember. The part that touched me the most, the performance of Bloody Samaritan touched my soul. Like this sister told us a manifestation of how her song was a prayer. And to me, I believe in prayer. Oh, ah, if you say prayer, I say amen. So yes, her performance was a thrill and she brought on her energy and I definitely saw the talent within her. She has a bright future and I am super happy she was at Afrochella performing. She has a bright future and I am super happy she was at Afrochella performing. Now, my fourth performance that I enjoyed. Whoo! Bim Nation! Bim Nation! <laughs> um, the reason why I say Beam Nation is because Beam came with a different vibe. Like, he came out for a whole he brought out something that usually we see, you know, Stoneboy do, but this performance was more so for the people and how he related to us, that sporans, you know. He made it seem like, yo, when you come to Africa, waka, like, meaning said like, you're welcome. Like, he gave us that welcoming vibe, and I, I appreciate it. Even though, like, so, at some point, the crowd was a little bit down, he was still able to manage to bring the people up. And that is a true talent. And that is something that we should all acknowledge. And I really, really enjoyed his performance. 
What's up, Mr. Girls? Yes, and you are watching Eve's Eye. Keep it locked in, locked on. Don't go no. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, E-Baby Kobe, a.k.a. Mata Aish. You know what? You stay tuned on East Eye. And right now, I'm on East Eye, too. Make sure you always watch videos on YouTube everywhere. See ya. Bye-bye. Gentlemen, if you are not watching East Eye, your life is in shambles. You need to do better. What did I say? You need to do better. Keep watching. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, African Ape, a.k.a. Mr. Oh, my gosh. A.k.a. Mr. Everlasting Bastard. And you are now watching East Eye. My number three choice was Amare. Amare performance. I loved it. It was short, but it was sweet. I feel like she should have performed a little bit longer. I wanted to see her perform longer because I felt like at that very moment, it was her moment. And it was really, really good. Shout out to her outfit. Shout out to the people who put it together. You look great. You definitely had to be at Africella and your performance, mwah. But I'm hoping next time you can perform for long. And yes, my second choice for performance. Made up for power in your neighborhood. Made up for power in your neighborhood. Gwen, Google, old timers, legends. The legendary quadrant tree came to thrill us. This time he didn't come alone, no. Do you know what happened? He went and go and bring. That's my Ghanaian language. Whenever I do this accent, you know I'm going to Tana. He went and go and bring dancers. Yo, like the performance was electrifying, and I expected to see only him. But when he brought a fear, hey! Chale, no, not how I did. Yo, shout out to Afia. Um, honestly, her performance was dope. And you know, Afia has a beautiful voice. She has that sassy. I enjoyed her performance. And I enjoyed the legendary Quadrant Tree. And shout out to his dancers. Those dancers, Oku Bukum, Noma Bukum, Noma Chale Jai Jai Jai. If you didn't understand what I said, basically his dancers gave us the pasa pasa dancer broke down, broke down. Yo, it was lit. I loved it from head to toe. <laughs> My number one performance or performances. <laughs> this one, I know you guys are going to cut my neck. Cut my neck. I will say who it is. Cut my neck because I'm cutting to my size. 
I sincerely loved Black Sharif's performance at Africella. Chew me. You thought I was gonna say whiskey. Whiskey did well, you know he's a legend. But now let's give upcoming, up and coming artists a chance. Let me say this because at the end of the day, these artists, if we take care of them and we make them shine, and they shine so well, we are going to do better. You know what I mean? We are going to do better. So yes, I like Black Sharif's performance. He brought in his whole like squad. That was the only performance I seen a lot of people on stage. And it was definitely different. The boy has talent. My boy has talent. And he's about to turn 20. And he's already at that. Then imagine in the next few five years. Imagine, imagine where he's going to be in the next few years. Shout out to Black Sharif for your nice performance. What's going to happen there? They know they tell person. But when this was finally told, when this was finally speak, when this was that have ears finally evolve mouth and speak, they shall shout one name forever and ever. Black Wars. I'm gonna give the bonus one. This is too easy because y'all know Wizkid does this for a living and everybody else does, but Wizkid has been doing this from Ghanaians who say 19 Kojo Ho. Huh. So when he's doing something, you already know you're gonna expect the best. When he came out, the crowd was going wild. And to be honest, the only thing that I feel like this event could have possibly, you know, been a little bit better on was the timing because Whiskey came out at four and you lord knows my legs even though i got there a little bit late my legs were done i i came there at like let's say seven or six but yo four o'clock my g <laughs> yo but it was cool but i feel like next time i feel like it should be a little bit earlier so that we can enjoy and our phone batteries don't die because on uh, most of us cameras started dying you know everything and it just became chaotic so yeah his performance was the last performance at four o'clock and everything else was mwah. shout out to africella for putting up a great show i saw youtube i saw twitter they had this creative space you at the rate these people are going spaceship crown phantom home phantom home baby the spaceship, they're about to hit the sky and hit the moon. So if you're here and you're watching this festival and you're like, next year, should I be in Ghana? Really? Is that a question to ask? Book your flight ahead of time and make it to Ghana. Because Ghana, Africa, to the whole world, we are about to take over. Do you see my eye? Do I see your eye? We are taking over. So ladies and gentlemen, yes. So that's my review on Africhella. Shout out to Glenn Sam and Mohammed Black. You guys did an amazing display at Africhella. Super, super dope. And shout outs to all the vendors. Yo, y'all putting in work. I can see the blood and tears. It's not easy to put these displays together and make it authentic like that. And I'm proud to be Ghanaian. Now, for those watching, Eve, what is going on again in Ghana? Stay tuned on this channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
Follow me on social media, Eve's Eye Production. And shout out to my videographer father for this video. And shout out to all y'all who've been supporting me. I am the future African president. And so everything that is going on, I'ma tell you. So when I'm president, you will say, she said it.